Welcome back, I'm Jesse, and in this tutorial, as I promised previously, I will show you how to do responsive or reactive water, whatever you want to call it. So I went ahead and created a very basic boat so that we won't have to bother modeling that in this tutorial. And I'm going to focus mostly on the water, and to do that I'm just going to start with a basic plane. And I'm going to make the length of it a thousand centimeters, just so that we can really have it move through the water, the boat move through the water. And I'm going to make the segments 100 by 100. And hopefully that should look pretty good. Actually, let's keep this pretty low, around maybe 40 or so. All right, so that's pretty good. And basically this plane will act as our water. And now the idea here is so that if I drag this boat through the water, what happens will, instead of the water just remaining as a flat plane, it will actually bend around the boat. This is not a tutorial on how to create wake, otherwise I'd call it wake. This is more just water responding to the boat's, I guess, surface tension. So the first thing that we want to do with this plane is add an effector. And instead of a usual displacer or polygon that I've used in the previous couple low poly tutorials, I'm going to use the collision. And for the first half of this tutorial, I'm going to leave this entirely high poly. And at the very end, I'll show you how to make it a low poly uh, object. So first thing we're going to do is drag this collision into the plane. And right now nothing happens. And basically what the collision tag does is if we go down here in the attributes and select colliders, we can drag another object into this and it will act as a collider with this uh, plane. So what I'm going to do is drag this as a boat into the objects. And immediately you'll notice that the water changed. If I zoom in here, the water actually moved into the boat and it's kind of bending very strangely. This is partly due to this solver right here. Just select the solver and change it to outside. I've felt that works best. So right now if I grab the boat and kind of move it down, you'll notice that the water bends with the boat. Eventually it breaks and the boat is underneath the water, but for the most part it bends as the boat goes into the water. And it doesn't just have to be a boat, it can be any closed object. So I'm going to drag the boat about as far down as I can. And there, I'll leave it as is. And I'm going to create a basic animation because after all, we're going to have the boat moving through the water. So I'll start it back there, click a keyframe, and let's say about maybe 60 frames further, I'll have it up here, nice slow animation. And change this to 60 frames. So now if I play it, we can see the boat moves through the water. But the water doesn't really act as what it does. Is it acts more as a spongy material right now. You'll notice mainly because the fall off around it is always equal. Behind it, it's very short, just as it is in the front. In real life, when a boat passes through an area of water, the water behind it slowly recuperates, kind of slowly comes back to the plane surface. So to do this, we have to go to back into the collision and go to the object tag right here. And we have to change this restore shape. So if I go all the way back to the beginning and pull the restore shape down, and now click play, you'll notice it moves a lot more slowly behind it, and it kind of catches up. So I've noticed that pulling restore shape really far down works really well. So around 10%, you can kind of get the feel that the boat is actually pushing into the water. And if I, whoops, if I pause it right around here, you can tell that the plane behind the boat is actually a little dipped down whereas in front of it, it's still perfectly flat until right before where the boat hits. You can change the kind of fall off here, but I've noticed it's not really necessary because you get the effect without it. And if I add fall off, you'll notice it tends to slow down significantly. Right now, if I play, oh, actually this time it didn't do that. Well, I'll be wrong then, but we can leave it to none and leave the restore shape as is. And right now we have a pretty decent boat animation. And even from the front, you can kind of feel like it's pushing the water off to the sides and behind it backwards. If you want to further attune this, so for right now, you can kind of see that the boat isn't really touching the water. Sometimes you can get it to be touching perfectly, sometimes not. If I go underneath, you can see that the water is actually breaking through the mesh a little bit, but that's okay. If you want to get the water tighter around the boat, what you have to do is go to uh, fall off and change the weight. So if I pull the weight all the way down, the boat has n absolutely no effect on the water. If I click play right now, nothing happens. So if I pull the weight down just a little bit, 
and zoom in on the boat so we can see. If I put the weight at 100%, we can see what happens here. But if I pull it down just a little bit, it makes it seem like the boat is actually pushing against the water. And of course, the boat is breaking through the water underneath, but we're not really looking at the water from the underside. So right now, if I click play, just go back to frame zero and click play, we get the nice smooth animation. And if I want to render this, I'll just add an ambient occlusion effect and zoom in a little bit. And we can kind of feel that the boat is pushing through the water. Now, if we want to make the water actually kind of churning, we can add the displacer effector. Just add that to the plane and select your shader to noise. And I'm going to change the object strength down just a little bit so that it's not as noisy. And now if I play it, you can see that the collision effect is still existing here, but the water itself isn't moving. So to do this, we go to back to shading, click on your noise texture and scroll down until you see animation speed. I felt that putting this up to around five works pretty well. And what this will do is change the animation of the noise on the plane. So if I click play now, you'll see that the water actually looks like it's moving and it's moving pretty strong clip. I'll change it down to maybe two just so that it seems more like a slow moving water. And the boat's speeding right through it, as you can see here. Now, if you wanna make this low poly effect, just remove the Fong tag from the plane and you're all done. As you can see, the boat is rather low poly and now the water is just a slow poly. And if I wanted to render the animation, this would take significantly longer, but you have your basic responsive water effect going on in Cinema 4D without much work and it doesn't really take up all that much rendering time either. Every now and then you might have the collision if you change the fall off to another setting. It might take a little while to render the frames. Usually it does, as I mentioned before, but this time for some reason it decided it didn't really want to take that much more time, which was okay. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll hope to see you next time.